Okay, so it's is it Monday night, November 2020 at 12.09 p.m. So, yeah, so I just, I just felt like making a vlog. So I'm trying to get my NDIS plan changed from NDIS managed to plan management and so I, I have an NDIS plan which lists like what I want to achieve and what funding I have to achieve those things. When I was setting up the plan, uh, when I was doing the process of setting up the plan, I, I chose uh, something called NDIA Manage. Uh, what this means is that the uh, the NDIA, the organization, will uh, <clears throat> I'm not exactly sure what it is, but it's like um, it's like what I do here is like I hire uh, certain companies and people to do things for me so I have funding to do that and uh, those people have to be paid right and if it's NDIA managed NDIA the organization will do the payment electronically for me but um, one of the limitations of that is that you the, the, the person who's providing you services has to be registered with the NDIA so if a company or person is not registered with the NDIA, uh, I cannot use the NDIA manage, managed plan. So I have I got, other options are self-managed, where I manage the whole thing. And there's another one called plan manage, where someone will manage the plan for me, but it's not the NDIA. So the... Company, the, 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 when I had the interview with that company person, they do plan management. They're not still at the moment registered with the NDIA. So, so if I want to work with them, I need to get my current plan changed from NDIA managed to plan management, and that is what I'm trying to do. What's wrong with my mouth? I feel like I'm. What's wrong? Why can't I talk properly? You know, I'm, getting, I'm kind of paranoid because when I was making my breakfast, there was this fly and it was flying above my bread. My, my slice of bread had uh, peanut butter and jam on it. And I was, I'm like, what's for boy? Anyway, so I, I felt like, oh my God, what is the... I don't, I don't think the fly landed on it. But it sort of flew on top of it. As far as I could tell, I did, the fly did not land on the food. So I'm like, kind of paranoid, like, oh my goodness, what do I get like toxic stuff or parasites even oh my god like worms take worm shit uh, so this is uh, <laughs> I was just googling again they said well if the fly lands on you uh, food momentarily it's just not it shouldn't be that bad but it's only a problem with the fly is walking around and vomiting and pooping all over your food then it might be a problem um anyways i just got pregnant oh, oh my god flies can carry uh, uh, uh viruses bacteria and even parasites because they because they walk over all of these other food and poop and all over the place they, they pick those things up see that that that's how they uh, transfer bacteria and all these things uh, so i was very paranoid about that Please. I, I was making my food, the plate was under, and I, I saw, saw this fly like whizzing past over the bread, the jam on it. You know, jam is sweet, so it's like. Please, I don't want, I don't want to get any worms, man. That's like one of my like nightmares. Like, oh, imagine having worm infection. Oh, fuck. That's just like horrible. Oh, man, that's just. Oh. Why is my. Why am I talking weird? 
So it's like some things in my... Is this a fly? Is this a fly? Did the fly do something to me? <laughs> I feel like... I'm talking funny. Anyway, so I was doing a lot of research on this renting thing. <laughs> and it, it seems like the top... I mean, I can I can only maximum at the moment pay three hundred dollars a week, three hundred dollars a week, uh, and still be able to sort of afford living on my own. But I was looking like um, like like these uh, NDIs, like the person I was speaking to, like they can help me with you know finding accommodation because you know, part of my goal is to live independently. Uh, so, I mean, I feel very fortunate that I, I'm getting all this help, you know, with the disability allowance and all the NDIs. I feel like I'm so fortunate. Um, but this year, I haven't been, I haven't been like using the NDIS thing because of, I don't know, man. In the in the earlier in the week when the whole COVID thing happened and all the shutdown, that sort of threw me into this kind of a weird loop where I just, you know, everything just got. I don't know, it's, it's, I went into, things just, like, I just stayed at home, you know, I don't want to do anything, and I, I mean, I usually stay at home, but, like, I, I didn't even, could, like, go to my psychologist, I, want, I wanted to, like, do some, you know, I, the only thing I went was for that dental issue, because it was, like, unbearable, but, so, uh, I don't know. The whole, I don't know, the, the, the process of the tribunal and it was all, all was very stressful or something. I don't know. For for a few months there, I just didn't feel like doing anything. And right now, I feel like I want to do things, but I'm going to get going again. So, yes, I was looking at all these uh, places to rent and, man, renting in Sydney is so expensive. It's like, oh, so expensive. Um, yeah, so, I don't know, hopefully, I can get this plan management uh, started, and, no, I was supposed to go to my GP today, but again, I, again, I changed my reschedule, my appointment to Wednesday, I mean, I have been rescheduling this appointment, like, with my GP, like, for my, for months now, ever since late last year, I, I've been just sort of, like, Putting it away, putting it away. The only time I, 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 I saw my DB, the GP was by telephone, right? When I got the medication, but uh, I need to go to see my GP to get, uh, uh, because I need to sign a document to get uh, like a um, mental health healthcare plan so I can see my psychologist. I think the government is giving me like 20 sessions, which is uh, subsidized, so I pay like $25 per session. Uh, that's for everybody um, and also like I've got this concern where like I've got these marks on my body it's like I want uh, like I don't know on my legs it's like uh, I, I don't know if that if it's like um hyperpigmentation or if it's some cancer things so <laughs> I need to go and get a referral to, to see a, a skin specialist so they can examine my uh, my brother did this. I did. I mention that. Uh, so they said it was high pigmentation for him, but I'm gonna. So, so I rescheduled my GP appointment to Wednesday. Hopefully, I will go to that. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to do this thing, and uh, oh, I just feel like talking. Yeah. 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 Yeah.